Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads. I'm Luce and this is my October book haul. The first few books I got um, on a day trip to Mildura that I took with my friend Nathan. The first one is Beautiful Secret by Christina Lauren, which is a new adult novel. Um, I've never read anything by Christina Lauren, although people seem to like her. And it was on sale for $2, so I thought I would give it a shot and see if I like her. The next book that I got there I can't actually show you because I have wrapped it up already and that is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy but I've heard no bad things about it and I'm really excited to read it so hopefully I will be able to unwrap it and read it soon. And then the third book that I got in Mildura is a late birthday present from my friend Nathan and that is Rangers Apprentice The Early Years The Tournament at Gorlan which is the first in a new spin-off series for The Rangers Apprentice. When I first heard that this was going to be a thing I, w I didn't know what it was going to be about and I was just like oh my god another one but then I found out that this is actually a prequel series about Holt and Crowley and so then I was just like give me that shit and I'm really excited to read this and not gonna lie I'm probably going to ship it all right the next few books I had on a lay-by the first one is End of Days by Susan E which I don't have in my hands right now because it is up there on my shelf and I would need to stand on a chair to get it down and frankly I can't be bothered. And then the next four books are all in the same series and I got them because it was two for ten dollars. The series is The Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place by Mary Rose Wood and the first one is called The Mysterious Howling. The second one is called The Hidden Gallery. Third one is The Unseen Guest and fourth one is The Interrupted Tale. I am really excited to read this because it looks pretty cute. And then I have two Discworld books. Um, they are Wintersmith and I Shall Wear Midnight, both by Terry Pratchett, obviously. They are the third and fourth book in the... Tiffany, is it Atching or Aching? I don't know which one. Things I should look up before I film the video. And then the next book that was on that lay-by is Sisters of Blood and Spirit by Katie Cross. Um, I've read two books in Katie Cross's Steampunk Chronicles series and I really, really enjoyed them. So I thought I would give this a whirl because she seems to be an author that I like. And then the next book I have is just like a little novelty one and it is Life Lessons from Lucy by Charles M. Schultz. This is Lucy from the Peanuts series. It's just certain panels um, that feature Lucy and she's probably giving out some kind of wisdom in them. So it's just going to be a really cute, really short book to read. And then the last book that I have on that lay-by is Troll Mountain by Matthew Riley. Um, I've never read anything by Matthew Riley. I own The Great Zoo of China, but I haven't read it yet. Um, but everyone says that he's just really fun to read and this was like a fantasy adventure thing and it's a really like physically beautiful book so I thought I would pick it up and give it a shot. The next book I have is The Devil in Amber by Mark Gatiss which is um, part of his Lucifer Box series. I own the other two but I've only read one of them. Um, I was lucky enough to stumble across this on Bookmooch and I'm just really excited to complete this series. The next book is a manga, it is Kashi Mashi Volume 1, Girl Meets Girl. This is a series about a boy who wakes up one day as a girl and shenanigans ensue. My friend Joanna sent me the second volume and so this is the first one which I was able to find on Better World Books. Hopefully I like it and hopefully I can get to it soon. And the next book is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, which is a present from my friend Jess. This has been doing the rounds on booktube and everyone seems to be really impressed with it. And so I thought I would give it a shot and yeah, thank you Jess. Then almost all of the next books are from Booktopia, all except three. Yes, three, and I'll get to those in a moment. Um, the first one is Far From You by Tess Sharp, which is um, it's got a bisexual protagonist, I know that much, and it's about like a, a it's a bit of a murder mystery. Um, everyone that's read it says it's really good and I thought it was about time that I did. And then the next book that I got in that order is What Did the Baby Boomers Ever Do For Us by Frances Beckett and let me tell you the answer to that question is fuck all. Um, this is just about how the generation that we call the baby boomers kind of lived life in the 60s and they were the hippies and the revolutionaries and they were supposed to be this generation of you know big dreams and aspirations and they were going to make the world better and what they in fact did was make the world worse. They got their educations for free and now we have to pay tens of thousands of dollars for ours, they wrecked the economy, they keep driving the retirement age up and up and up which means none of them are retiring which means this job force is stagnating because there are no jobs opening up for young people to go into which is causing a rise in youth unemployment and just 
it's how they went from being this, you know, generation of revolutionaries to stagnant, grumpy old people. And this is so unbelievably my jam. You have no idea. And then the next book that I have is one that I've wanted for a while. And then I stumbled across it on Booktopia for $7.50. So that was great. Um, it's The Godfather Was a Girl and Blanche Dubois Was a Guy by Eamon Evans. This is about the real people that inspired people in pop culture. And so it's just about people like that and how the characters are the same and also different from the people that inspired them. And so I'm just really, really excited to read this because I think I'm going to love it. Okay, and then the next two books are from Book Depository. The first one is Golden Boy by Abigail Tartelin. This is about a boy who is intersex. Um, a couple of people have been calling this recently and saying that the main character is gay, he's not, he's intersex. The next book that I got is Tilt by Ellen Hopkins because this one has queer characters. In case no one ever told you, Tilt, Trix and Rumble, all by Ellen Hopkins, all have queer characters. Um, I've never read any Ellen Hopkins, although she seems to be pretty popular. So I thought I would give this one a shot. It was only like 11 or $12 and like I said, gay characters. So yeah, hopefully I like it. All right, and then the next book I got is from Target. I was going to get this online as a hardcover, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to be totally in love with it. So I didn't want to spend so much on a hardcover um, for a book that I'm not going to absolutely love. And that book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I am really, really excited for this. Like genuinely really really excited but I just too many of people have said they were let down by it for me to have wanted to spend $25 on hardcover. And then the next books are all from the same Booktopia order. The first two are Christmas ones for reading next month. The first one is Aunt Sass Christmas Stories by P.L. Travers. She wrote Mary Poppins. This is just three Christmas stories that she originally wrote as gifts for her friends and then they were published and they just sound really really cute. And then the next book is Letters from Father Christmas by J.R.R. Tolkien, which is a book I've wanted forever, but I've never actually bought it for myself. And I decided that this year was going to be the year. Um, okay, so this is a book of letters that Tolkien wrote to his children pretending to be Santa Claus. So they would write Santa Claus their Christmas lists and he would reply. And this just seems like such a cute book and it's going to be absolutely perfect for Christmas and yeah, I am just really, really excited to read this. And then the next book is Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. I can't remember the name of the channel that I saw this on. I think it was a bit of a bookworm. The girl that was reviewing it said that it's very similar to Practical Magic and that if you like Practical Magic, you'll probably like this one. And I absolutely love Practical Magic. So I am really excited to read this and I probably will next Halloween. Right, and then the next book I have is Sublime by Christina Lauren which is like a ghost romance or something. It was like five dollars and I've been kind of interested in it ever since it came out so I thought I would give it a shot. And then the next book is Terror's World by Mitch Ben which is the sequel to Terror which I hauled uh, early last year. Um, this is usually quite expensive like $22.95 and then it was on Booktopia for $7.50 so I grabbed it. And then the next book I got, I bought like Sublime because it was so cheap, it was only like $5.90 and that is Atlantia by Ali Condi. Um, the concept of Atlantis and a lost city underwater has always fascinated me and that's kind of what this is about. Um, but yeah, but this was like $5.90 and I was interested in reading it so I grabbed it. And then the last book is one that I was going to buy in Mildura at the start of the month and then didn't and then regretted it and it is Unbecoming by Jenny Downham. This book has a lesbian in it and I'm just really really excited to read it and I really really love this cover. All right and then the last book that I have to show you is a book that I bought with a voucher from my friend Jess. Um, I bought her some books that she couldn't get and sent it to her so in repayment she sent me a $20 Booktopia voucher and with that I bought Saga Volume 5 and I have already read this and you can hear about it in my October wrap up part two. Those are all the books that I got this month or last month actually. Um, my November haul will be a lot smaller, I can promise you that. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.